It is me, I am back with another studio vlog. It is 10.30 in the morning. I just got done doing a deep clean of the studio. It took me literally hours because I decided to take everything off the shelves, dust underneath, dust all my trinkets, and I've got a hell of a lot of trinkets. So it was a long start to the morning, but a productive start to the morning. I'm pretty happy and now I can, without, I can already see more dust collecting on my desk, but we'll leave it. So now that the dusting is out of the way, I have to scan a bunch of work in progress sketches for my Patreon, get those edited, get those ready to go. So let's not be wasting any time talking. Let's get into it. Sunday morning, bright and early by most people's standards. I would have liked to have been up earlier, but 8.30 is still early, it's fine. I never used to be a morning person, but now I am weirdly obsessed with rising with the sun. I just put that on backwards. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I am so obsessed with waking up early on my days off because when I have to wake up early for work, it's like, oh. But when it's my day off and I get to come straight into the studio and make art, I'm like, why did I not wake up with the sunrise? 8.30 in the morning is still early. You've got plenty of day left. Honestly, I don't even remember what I have planned today. Oh, I have literally nothing planned today. Okay, <laughs> cool. Well, we'll see what the rest of the day brings then. So it's one o'clock now. I haven't really filmed anything today, but we're in the process of building a chicken coop because we're gonna get chickens again, which is really exciting. But we've basically just been like trimming the trees, digging some holes, ripping out the old fencing that isn't doing anything so that we can put in new fencing that's more secure. It's coming along nicely. So now I'm gonna have some lunch and then I will probably go back out and do some more if there is more to do.
Hello! It is my mom's birthday coming up and I want to make her one of those mushroom earring holders that I've seen around the place. I've seen lots of people making them. Hopefully it turns out good because she does need a place to store her earrings. And I think a little mushroom would be really sweet. <laughs> I've stolen one of her earrings to like get the sizing right and I have no clue how to do this. I've never made a mushroom before in my life, but let's give it a go. Honestly, so happy with this like the colors the design it was a lot harder to make than I thought it would be but we got there in the end and now all that's left to do is wrap this bad boy up and give it to mom on her birthday which is in like two days at this point mushroom I guess poorly wrapped is better than not wrapped at all. In my defense, this is a really difficult shape to wrap. Oh god, it's coming apart already. Good enough. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, get your claws out, please. Mr. Sir, no. No. Don't do it. It's Tuesday, isn't it? We've got a very jam-packed afternoon ahead of us and I'm going to try to bring you along with me but 
It depends how it goes. So, at one o'clock, I am meeting a complete stranger in a car park. Because they're selling a Canon G7X Mark II on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, ooh. I kind of want one of those. I've been wanting one for a while. Obviously this one's second hand so it's a little bit cheaper than buying it new. Which has its pros and cons of course. But he seems nice enough and he's going to let us go and check it out. And then decide if I actually want it or not. So that's good. Our second stop will be getting chickens. Finally. <laughs> we were going to go in and get them last week. But they'd sold out over the weekend. So they said that they were restocking today. So we're going to go and take a look in her hopefully come home with two adorable little chickens. Then once we get the chickens home and all settled in, it's straight off to the doctor's office to get my second jab. So yeah, that's my afternoon and hopefully it all goes to plan. I kind of want to wear this little pin because I never wear it because I'm so precious about it. Would it look good on me? <gasps> that would look so cute! It's ceramic, that's another reason why I'm scared to wear it out in case it shatters into a million pieces. Look at that! Gorgeous! Okay, let's go! They need to smooth out this road. I'm like, oh! chickens so much you have no idea we've only had them for like five days and already they've developed their own little personalities and oh my god they're so cute we're keeping them in the bathroom at the moment because they're still too young to go outside they have to be like under the heat lamp until they get their adult feathers in but that'll just be for the next six weeks and then they can go out into the coop that i built i'm just so excited they're so cute oh my god and they're so tiny you can fit them both in one hand. Ah. Happy Halloween! It is officially spooky day. I've got my spooky little dagger earring in and that's about as festive as I'm getting this spooky season. So I just finished doing my November wallpaper for my Patreon. I honestly didn't have an idea for this month's wallpaper until the very last minute, but I did these pen sketches of Emilio's car. So I figured I'd incorporate that into it somehow and this is what I came up with. And I'm really happy with how it turned out so hopefully my patrons will like it too. Speaking of my Patreon, I don't mean to brag but I have been so consistent over there. I made this whole calendar on my notion just dedicated to patreon stuff so i know what i need to be posting and when and i'm just really proud of myself because i have been so consistent with it the past couple of months and i've been having a lot of fun with it i've been doing the monthly wallpapers as you've been seeing i've also been designing some new characters so if you're a patreon you're the first to see the new characters and you get to know all about them like months in advance to everyone else so that's very exciting and i've also been doing like these really in-depth character bios of my existing characters so they've got like a little bit of information about each character timelines family trees house layouts down the track I'm going to be doing like height charts and age progressions and all this sort of stuff so very exciting very in-depth you also get like early access to literally everything and there's also exclusive sketches that will never be posted anywhere else so if you're interested in that sort of stuff my patreon is linked below so now for the rest of the day i think i'm going to do like a spooky themed drawing that i've had in mind for like a week and just haven't gotten around to drawing yet it's gonna be flex rusty and butch in their halloween costumes so i'm thinking flex is going to be dressed as frank and from the Rocky Horror Picture Show because heck yeah, why not? We love Frankenfurter. Rusty, I'm feeling 
a wizard hat, a wizard cloak, a wizard's beard, and Butch. Butch I am very excited for. I want to turn Butch into a pumpkin. So like he can have the pumpkin costume and his hair can have like pumpkin seeds in it like it's the pumpkin guts. Am I a genius or what? This could either turn out amazing or it could turn out to be the worst concept I've ever come up with. So I'm gonna get sketching and we'll see where it takes us. Honestly, really happy with how this turned out. It was a struggle, but we got there in the end. For some ungodly reason, I decided to try and make Butch a Kent pumpkin because I thought that the pumpkin orange would clash with his hair, but no. What? Why would he be a Kent pumpkin? Classic orange was definitely the way to go with him. I also went through like four SD cards and two camera batteries. Took me like 17 attempts to get the sketch right. And now it's the 7th of November and I've only just finished it. So great Halloween drawing. Fantastic. Better late than never. You can literally see how much my hair has grown since I started this video. I did not intend to be filming for a month. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. But before you go, I want to show you the chickens again because they've grown. They've grown. We've had them like two weeks and they're already like teenagers. What the heck? We ended up moving them into a dog cage because now that they've started getting more of their adult feathers, they are flying around like there is no tomorrow. I do not believe that these chickens are flightless birds. But yeah, they're doing really well, so hopefully in a few weeks' time they will be ready to free range in the little area that we built for them. And with that, thank you very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I don't know what all this is. It gets more intense with each video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.